Hey, what's going on guys? Peter here giving you a quick review of the PowerBot wireless charging plate. The best way that I can sum up this charger is like this. It works well enough most of the time that I don't want to return it for 15 bucks. And I'll explain why. So the Nexus 6 is a massive phone. That's my daily driver right now. Um, and I think the Nexus 6 is really the reason that I have these problems. That, that is a bad thing. Um, let me explain. So because it's such a large phone, you kind of have to balance it on the bottom third of the phone. Not necessarily balance, but you have to make sure it lines up just right. And most of the time, 85 to 90 percent of the time, it'll charge just fine. But sometimes it'll go in and out of charging, or sometimes it'll charge for a second and then you'll look away and it'll stop. Or most annoyingly, you'll forget to turn your sound off at night and then pop it on the charger and then in the middle of the night it just decides, oh I'm not going to charge. And then it'll cycle in and out of charging and it'll start beeping and that's just annoying and the last thing you want to deal with at 3 in the morning. But for the most part, it works, it does its job well enough. As with all wireless chargers, it does go a little slower than a standard wired plug, but I think that's to be expected and most people can understand that and see why. If you plug it into a computer like I do most of the time, you'll go from 0 to 100 in about 2.5 to 3 hours. Not too bad, considering it's wireless. For fun, I did just plug it into the uh, Motorola turbocharger. I knew it wasn't going to you know, turbocharge it, um, and it didn't, but it did speed up the process a little bit, and it went from about an hour and a half or two about an hour and a half to two hours so again quicker but again to be expected because it's just a higher output all in all it's a solid little charger I would definitely suggest it only because it's cheap if anything else if you have a little bit more money to spend on a charger or maybe this is just a cheap gift you're getting for somebody you can't really go wrong with it because it's not very expensive it works well enough my only wish for it was that it was a little bit bigger but you really shouldn't have any problems Keep special note of the gauge of the wire that you're using. It does use a micro USB cable, the standard, which is nice, and it comes with one. But keep note of the gauge only because, as with wired charging, with wireless charging, if you have a lower gauge cable, it's going to charge slower because it just can't handle as much electricity. The biggest way to keep note of that is if it feels cheap, it's probably cheap. It probably has a lower gauge. So keep that in mind. That's really it. Um, overall, it's a thumbs up. And I'd be willing to bet you probably won't have the issues I do, unless you have a Nexus 6. And even if you do, you probably won't have the issues I have. So, it's safe to buy. 15 bucks. You might as well give it a try. If anything, make it your first wireless charger, just so you can kind of get a feel for it. Let me know if you have any other cool wireless chargers that you would suggest me to try, because I do want one more for my uh, work desk. So, um, let me know if there's any other ones that I should try. I know the Tilt View is kind of cool, but it's kind of pricey. Um, so if that's one that people really suggest and it's got good praises, then maybe I'll give it a shot. But that's been it. Um, please do let me know if you have any other suggestions for chargers because I really do want one for myself. Uh, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.